Shooting on digital can be a thing of beauty, but we mustn't forget the legacy of film and how film grain can elevate your videos. 16 millimeter film has a pretty distinct look. More importantly, it's also got a very nostalgic and classy quality to it. If used properly, that kind of noise makes a video feel more natural, almost like the footage is untouched and unedited. It makes the film more believable, which helps draw the audience into the reality you are trying to create in your content. Videos shot this way have a style that makes viewers feel something, so of course getting a film grain overlay to replicate that look brings the same vibe to digital video. Elements of our Soundstripe Hype commercial were actually shot on 16 millimeter film, and you can clearly see the difference of the film content and the digital. Digital photography is a science, and uh, film photography is a chemical miracle. Why film grain is so popular. Clearly film grain is cool. It's something that you can add pretty easily. You can find thousands of tutorials about different methods to add film grain to your next project. Pulling off the 35mm, 8mm, or 16mm look is doable with digital filters or by finding a film grain overlay that you like. And yes, there are a lot of free overlays available too. Before we move on, let's pause for a second to make a very important distinction. Film grain is an intentional aesthetic choice that a lot of creators gravitate toward, whereas digital noise is an accident. In fact, a lot of creators will use a noise reduction plugin and then go back and add film grain. So just remember, there's a distinct difference between film grain and digital noise. Look, the point is that film grain matters. It's a unique tool for steering an audience's emotion, which makes it a great storytelling technique. Well, what do you think? Do you have a particular project you're working on that just demands a film grain plugin? Well, hit the link in our description where you can purchase some plugins from some crazy talented creators. We'll see you on the next episode of Intune. How will you create more?